Hi guys, it's Beverly. If you hear a noise, I'm getting my yard mode. I'm mowing it right now. <laughs> Swiffer duster covers. That's what we have today. Swiffer duster covers. This one is for the long one. And let's see, does it say how many inches it is? Some people have those long ones. I don't know. Um, 15, 17 inches by 5. Those long ones are 17 inches by 5. Okay. For the large one, you chain 100. And you do 14 rows. And then I lay the Swiffer on top of it. Or I measure 17 inches. And then I fold it in. Okay. And then the regular size. Okay. The regular size, I chain 54. I do 14 rows. And I fold it in two and a half inches. This is all going to be below. <laughs> now, I use an H hook. I use my favorite cotton and I do two different stitch combinations depending on what I'm in the mood for. The first row yeah it looks like I started with the first row so I either do one single crochet and one double in the same stitch skip a stitch one single one double in the same stitch skip a stitch and on the very last stitch I just do a single crochet then I would chain one up and do a single crochet in that same stitch and a double and that's how I do it it usually ends up being 14 rows okay 14 rows same here 14 rows okay now the other stitch combination I like to make is one single crochet one half double crochet I like to make it across the top you know lengthwise some patterns call for you know the short end but to me that takes too long <laughs> because I only have to do 14 rows if I do it across so this is the Swiffer duster now it's made out of 100% cotton so you can also use this wet or dry throw it in the washer when it needs to be washed dry it a little bit not all the way then take it out of the dryer for a little bit while it's still damp and put it back on your Swiffer so that will dry the rest of the way because it is cotton and it will shrink if you dry it all the way so wash it in the washer however you would you know be careful if you have colors like this because it might fade you know on something you don't want it to fade but or you could even just use soap and water in your sink and wash it out um but my point being is put it on your Swiffer when it's still damp and then let it dry the rest of the way because if we don't want it to shrink up and then you have to stretch and stretch and try to get it on there so this is day seven of Kitchen Cotton Month. I hope you guys are liking this. Tell your friends. I'm almost at 600 subscribers. Yay! So, thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye.